Number one, not necessarily in this order, but this order can work out really well for you. Number one, prospect. Good. I knew word. Prospect, look for good leads. Look for good leads. Number two, follow up on good leads and set what? Appointments. Number three, present. Go on qualified listing and buyer appointments. Number four, negotiate contracts. And number five, do it again. Mixed into those activities, you have to practice. Mixed into those activities, you have to practice. Learn what to say and how to say it. Learn the business in those activities. Learn the contracts. Learn how to explain the contracts. Learn what to say and how to say it. Learn the objection handlers. Here's an idea. There are 40 objection handlers, right? 40 that we use that, that we're taught. How about you memorize them? How about you just memorize them? How about you just memorize them? Decide to memorize them. Remember what I told you 40 years ago, I've been in this business 40 years, my first listing was a for sale by owner. That first listing was a for sale by owner 40 years ago in Northwest Whittier. Guess what the objection was? They didn't want to pay the commission. 40 years ago! First listing I ever got. They didn't want to pay the commission, it was a for sale by owner. Go figure. What do you think the objection is going to be 40 years from now? In fact, let's go a little further. How about the appointment you're going to have next week? The appointment, the listing appointment you're going to have next week, they're either directly going to say they don't want to pay the commission or that much commission, or they're going to be thinking they don't want to pay the commission or that much commission. How you handle it is going to be tied directly to the success or failure of you getting that listing at the price and terms that you want to get it.